Get that guys, how's it going? So we're in the uh, base camp caravan with our 800 VA inverter plugged in and doing its thing which you can see there got the VE direct plugged into it for the time being that is currently running the big fridge which is a Dometic like full-size fridge and it's also running the radio and charging an M18 battery which pulls a bit over a hundred and something watts Hopefully putting out 230 with 12.5 battery voltage under that load. Now, when we first got to this van, we're only getting about 4 amps of solar input. 14.2. How good's that? It's so much better. So we stuck a couple extra panels on the roof and it's made a world of difference. It's not super sunny outside. Uh, there's still clouds blowing over back and forth. Now I got the diesel heater running, got the inverter doing its thing like it is. We've still got the battery voltage of 13.2, oh, and the head unit there. Still got 13.2 at the battery. And we're going. Turn that off, and we jumped up by 0.2. Turn that off. And the inverter load dropped to nothing. You can see the battery voltage coming on up down there now. There's a little bit of an indiscrepancy between ProStar's battery voltage, which is saying 13.5, 13.6, but it doesn't actually have its sense wires ran. We might actually run them at some stage. Um, there's a happy 14 amps poking its way down there and into the battery. The voltage is coming up nicely. Um, yeah, pretty happy with that. That's that's really good. Um, I also overnight left the inverter on, so it's about it's nearly 11 o'clock now. Been here probably an hour playing with it before I decided to make a video. But the I left the inverter on overnight. I had every light in this thing on until midnight, so I could see what I was doing. Uh, I had the diesel heater running intermittently, etc. And um, just testing and playing with things, 14.3 amps. So, we do 14 by 14. How many solar watts are we actually getting? 14.4 um, amps, it's going up. This is excellent. So, 14.5 amps times 14 volts is 203 watt hours actually coming through. So there's nothing, 203 watts actually coming through, so there's nothing wrong with that at all. It's quite a good, uh, quite a good input. So I'm pretty happy that this charge controller actually has a, like a lot, uh, like a metered setup in it, because um, that certainly really helps with doing maths. on the right charge profile which is good and that was starting to flash so that must mean you're trying to get into equalization mode the diesel heater and the radio is still running and it's topping out at 14 volts let's just turn the radio off another thing i had to do was the glow plug in the diesel heater was dead actually broke off Protection around it now, so we can slide stuff in there easy. 13.3 with that running. Shut that down. There's a light on there, too. That's actually going to use more power before it stops using power um, today, but we've got to get done. A little bit of work underneath for the water tanks. We also have to steal power from here for that little fan. We have to steal power from that, run it through the outside of that little unit 
to power a reverse camera. So it's going to permanent power the reverse camera because it's got a wireless head um, piece for it. So we can see what we're doing back in this big beast in. Uh, so this is the length of one of the normal kind of caravans, but it's also got this whole garage on the back. So it's, it's huge. But yeah, we're going to steal power from that because there's a permanent power. Oh, it's got a fair bit of airflow. And that switch, it looks like we can get that piece out just with a couple of Phillips head screws up in there. So we'll drop that screen down, pinch some power, run it across the roof of the van to the reverse camera, which is just there on the outside of the van. And uh, it's a reverse camera ticked off the list as well. I'll make a whole other video about the toilet in a minute. Diesel head is shutting down. Still pushing 10 amps. We're at 14.1. The diesel heater's um, glow plug will be going to clean it now. Luckily we had a spare diesel heater that I haven't put in another person's bus yet. It had a glow plug in it, so we pinched it out of this. This is just a little two kilowatt diesel heater. I'll make a video when I put that in. It's going in a caravan for uh, the owner of this van's friend. But yeah, once we've got permanent power to the reverse camera, we can just plug that in. Bob's your uncle. Uh, up there you've got a um, 12 volt power port. Which fires the screen up. And then as soon as you've got uh, power to that rear unit, you're all good. The screen goes dark when there's no power to the rear unit. Some people would probably prefer to switch the um, rear camera on and off but this will be good because the owner will be able to see whether there's someone behind him or whatever on the road uh, he does tow it with an F250 um, so by the time you combine the two of them the length of this is quite substantial yeah, we've made some progress that's for damn sure 14.1 yeah we're actually getting some charge to this little beast which is awesome it's, uh, I'm going to get back to work, um, get some stuff done, and uh, I'll take you along for a ride on a few bits and pieces and show you what I'm up to. But for now, um, diesel heater's still ticking over, cooling itself off. I'm going to plug the grid power in because he wants to take this um, away for the weekend. I'm going to plug the grid power in and turn the fridge on for him. I don't know, might even turn the electric hot on while it's plugged into the shed here. And, uh, yeah, got to do some cable tying and stuff underneath, run some power up the top. But yeah, we're getting on top of things. But thanks for watching, guys. It's amazing how quickly the numbers move when the sun comes under, out from under a cloud and goes back down again. It's, uh, it's quite good. Very happy. Not a bad charge controller. Um... Pretty sure it's only a PWM. Pro Start PS30M. Yeah, it doesn't really state. But yeah, it's doing its job, that's for sure. Sitting up there at 14 volts. Um Yeah, 14, 15 amps of charge is quite a good quite a good charge rate for your uh, for your caravan. And it'll definitely keep the 200 amp hours topped off. You know, you get 8 hours of good sun, 10 hours of good sun, you get 150 amp hour, so um, that's definitely a good kick in the right direction when you've only got 200 amp hour of storage. Um, should be good. So uh, even when you turn things like the pump on, you see the voltage dip a little bit, the sun's still under a cloud, but you'll watch the current shoot back up again in a minute. Just as the uh, sun goes over and under. Yeah, having a bit of fun working on this beast. I'll keep this updated. Got a couple more videos to make about it before we uh, send it back to the owner, so uh, I better get busy. Thanks for watching.